Now the second phenomena that occurs during respiration is that carbon dioxide is given out or we can say carbon dioxide actually produced during respiration. So we are conducting another small experiment to prove that yes carbon dioxide is removed or produced during respiration. In these cases what we are going to do, I am going to take two conical flasks. In these two conical flasks we are going to put a wet cotton wool or a wet cotton swab in both the flask A and B. On these both cotton wool swabs we are going to put germinating seeds in one flask and boiled or dead beans in the another flask. So these are dead beans which are not having capacity to germinate. So these are dead beans which are put in flask B. However germinating or soaked beans are produced in this flask A. After few days you have to what you have to see is actually we are putting all these two flasks in a optimum conditions that means they have same conditions of light both the flasks are receiving same, uh, same intensity of light and they are kept at a same temperature so all these optimum conditions are achieved by those this, both these flasks and they are kept on a wo wo uh, wet cotton wool in both the flasks now after few days what we are going to observe is that the flask A, the seeds are actually germinating, they start to germinate. So now you can see that this is a flask which contains the germinating seeds, however B is the flask which contains dead beans or boiled beans. Now we have to see that whether carbon dioxide was produced during germination or not or whether carbon dioxide is produced during this dead beans. So what is the phenomena, what is the process in which carbon dioxide is produced and in which of the flask carbon dioxide is not produced. So what we are going to do, we are going to tilt this flask we are going to check the pre check the presence of gas. So we want to check which gas is present in this flask and which gas is present in this flask. What we are going to do, we are going to tilt this flask into a lime water. Now carbon dioxide has a property that it turns the lime water into milky. Carbon dioxide turns lime water into milky. So that flask which contains carbon dioxide, that flask which contains carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is a heavy gas. So it actually moves into lime water and settles down and converts this lime water into milky. So this is a stage where we can see that yes carbon dioxide is present. So this is that flask in which germinating seeds were present. Since this is flask A in which germinating seeds were present that means that it contains carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is actually converting the lime water into milky. So this shows that germinating seed they release a gas which is known as carbon dioxide and which is the next phenomenon, next property of respiration.